It's day 18 of the Walk Off the Weight for Women Over 50 series and I've got non-stop cardio for us today. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving with our warm up, and that means that we are getting started with some arm circles and high knees. You guys, I'm not gonna tell you that I'm excited about today's workout. I, mean, I am. <laughs> excited about today's workout and welcome to it. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend and I do not make any like secret at all of the fact that I am a cardio girl. This is my jam today and I am already totally looking forward to the exact right amount of challenge. Now, I want to tell you straight up, right from the get-go, today is intended to be moderate. It might not feel like it if you go too hard or too fast because we've got some, We've. I mean, I, I have teeny tiny writing and I have filled out the whiteboard today. I've got tons of low impact cardio, absolutely no jumping no transitions to the ground. It's not meant to be like a hard day, but I will tell you that I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 20 seconds and none of them is rest. So it's really, really, really going to be up to you to manage your energy today. And we're going to talk about that a little bit before we get going, but I will tell you with the 20 second intervals, I'm not going to have a lot of time to tell you all the things that I want to tell you about energy and how good it feels to move and why we do workouts like this. Let's go ahead and do some arm crosses with booty kickers. So let me tell you briefly, the way that you get energy is to spend energy. And I know that sounds super funny, but it never ceases to amaze me that when I come into a workout like this feeling blah and feeling blah, that I come out of it feeling amazing. This is just right. This duration, this moderation, everything about this kind of cardio that we are doing today is actually designed to make you have more energy for the rest of your life. Not, I mean, the rest of doing your life today. <laughs> like, like whatever chores you have, whatever errands you need to run, that kind of thing. Not like, not like you get to do this one workout and then the rest of your life you're full of energy. That would be amazing, right? <laughs> We would definitely all do it then. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home, my friends. My friends, this one is gonna be a little bit challenging today and that's why I'm telling you, manage your energy. Whatever you, whatever you can't do, don't like to do, feel awkward doing, whatever transition is too fast for you and you're staring at me trying to figure out what we're doing next, just walk, just walk in place. Walking in place is like one of the best ways to create energy for, you, for yourself and I'm actually gonna get started with that right now. Don't worry about, don't worry about trying to do what I do. <laughs> Literally ever, but really specifically today, because I know that today is gonna feel kind of fast. Let's go ahead and get started with some walking. And when it beeps again, which is going to, in about 14 more seconds, we're gonna do low swinging tappers. I started us off a little bit, I'm gonna say easy, kind of, but also not really. I started us off with some exercises where our hands don't go up over our head. As you know, because I've told you, when your hands go up over your head, your heart rate comes up. So here we go with low swinging tappers. So I'm trying to keep it as moderate as I can with the exercises, but it's gonna be up to you to moderate your pace, your speed, your own energy. When it beeps again, we're doing half jacks. Once again, hands not going up super duper high, one hand at a time, one leg at a time, kicking out to the side. It's half of a jumping jack at a time, the left half and the right half, and then the left half and then the right half. When it beeps again, I've got another one where our hands aren't going up super high. If you are ready for it and you know yourself well enough to know that you can, you can get your hands moving a little bit more. We're doing can-cans. It's a knee and a kick on one side and then a knee and a kick on the other. And you can always make any of these exercises, knee and kick, here we go, can-cans. You can make all of these exercises more difficult or less difficult. Always, always, always up to you to get what you want and need out of the workout. Coming up next, we're doing upside down jacks. Gonna start with our hands up overhead. So here we go, into the challenging part. As we come down, I meant to actually do both hands down. As we come down, we're taking a big step out to the side. We are really transferring our weight out to that side foot, really working our core, pulling in our core and thinking about 
got it. Coming up next, we're gonna do butter churns. And I'm gonna think about this. When your hands are up, your feet are down. When your hands are down, one foot kicks out to the side at a time. You're so excited about churning butter. <laughs> your foot kicks out to the side. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're gonna do toy soldiers. Both hands are gonna be up overhead. You're gonna reach your opposite hand towards your opposite kicking foot. Now, I really did try, as I mentioned, to keep us, here we go with toy soldiers, to keep us going kind of back and forth with hands up and hands a little bit lower. It's not gonna work that way for the entire workout. So make sure that when your hands are up that you're paying attention. Coming up next, we're gonna do curtsy jacks, which means that you do not have to do a curtsy lunge. I'm going to, but you don't have to. You're welcome to kick instead of curtsy lunge. But here we come down into a curtsy while our hands are doing jumping jacks. Absolutely no jumping today, although, our next exercise, big arm side shuffles. You could put a bit of a bounce into your step. Totally up to you how much or how little you wanna do with any of these. Big arm side shuffles means that we're shuffling to the side while we're making some big arms right in front of our body. When it beeps again, oh my gosh. We're doing shooting stars. This is a relatively new exercise for me. What we're doing is we are doing essentially disco dancers and star balance at the same time. So we're reaching out to the side while kicking the opposite leg out the other way. Nice balance on this one means that you're thinking not only about your heart rate, but about having your core pulled in tight. Excellent form, even while we're moving quickly. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting punch step backs. So we're stepping back and punching the opposite direction. As you step back, we're punching away from it. A little bit of ab and core work here while we're doing our cardio. When it beeps again, I have to think about where I'm going. We're doing dancing X's. Gonna make a big X with your body. Hands are wide, feet are wide, and we're gonna crunch down into the middle. This one has at least one hand in the air the entire interval. Might wanna go a little slower. Totally up to you. When it beeps again, we're gonna be doing ding-dongs. Hands are, technically speaking, low. They don't go up overhead, but they do swing kind of high as they go from side to side. And we're kicking, whoops, here we go. We're kicking one leg out at a time. Okay, you guys, this is what I was talking about with the transitions. Don't worry if you lose some time. Don't worry if you can't follow along. Just start walking. No big deal ever. When it beeps again, we're doing front punch high knees, which is exactly what it sounds like, even though I constantly want to call it fruit punch high knees. <laughs> Punching with one hand while bringing up the other high knee. Right across your body, thinking about having your core pulled in, thinking about having your energy right ever where it needs to be. When it beeps again, we're doing booty kick pull downs. So once again, we're going to have our hands up overhead. Your lower body is going to be doing booty kickers. Your upper body is going to be doing pull downs. So hands up and then elbows pull down. Getting a nice bit of rhythm into this one. When it beeps again, we're going to do walking stars. Pick an apple and put it in your pocket. You might notice a box step or a V-step. I don't know if I've told you this story. If you've been around, you've heard it, but stepping forward, stepping back, changing leader legs. The first time I did this exercise on camera, I was super embarrassed and I was able to do it, but it was tough. When it was again, by the way, we're doing letter Ks. And then the second time I did this exercise on camera, I called it something else and felt so much more confident in doing it. Here we go with letter Ks, both hands up overhead, reaching your opposite or your hand down towards that same side. Leg means that on one side, we're forming the letter K. On the other side, we are not. Coming up next, I've got a bit of lunging. If you don't want to lunge, don't lunge. We're swooping up overhead. It's alley-oops. We're swooping up overhead, pivoting our feet, and then lunging down to one side. You can do this without lunging at all. For me personally, for my fitness, I'm capable and don't mind it. You are absolutely welcome to either kick or simply just swip pivot from side to side. When it beeps again, we're doing middle skips, which is honestly it's just what it sounds like we're skipping but we're keeping our hands right here about our middle instead of trying to go up too high depending on your heart rate depending on your fitness depending on how you feel you might get up a little higher you might keep it down nice and low totally up to you because in the next exercise we are going to have hands overhead in day breaks hands are swaying from side to side overhead like a rainbow or like the dawn coming up i'm not really sure if that metaphor tracks but we're tapping from side to side with our feet coming up next we're going to be doing 
forward hinge arm flappers. Really just what it sounds like. We're going to hinge forward at the waist while our arms are flapping as though we're doing jumping jacks, even though we are not doing any kind of jumping at all today. Coming up next, I'm going to do something I call push, push, crunch. You know why? Because we push to the side, we push to the side, and then we swoop our hands up and over our heads into an oblique crunch. Now I happen to know that this is one of those exercises, here we go, push, push and crunch. I happen to know that this is one of those exercises that can feel kind of difficult. The rhythm is very different from other exercises. You're welcome to just do the push and not the crunch. Totally okay with me. Coming up next, we're doing something I call close squat swings because we're going to stand in a very close footed position and we're going to swing our hands from one side all the way up down to the other side. So we're kind of making a big, like almost an upside down V in front of us. There's not much of a squat to it. It's much more about pushing your hips back a little bit. As it beeps again, we're going to do rainbow kicks. It's like, it's like ding dongs, honestly, except your hands go up overhead while you're kicking out to the side instead of staying low. This is, we're getting down to the end of my list before we start this circuit again. So some of these are a little tougher. When it beeps again, we're doing goofy jacks, which is not quite a squat, but a little squat ish. Hands are going to be doing jumping jacks. One foot is going to kick out at a time. Little squat. Hands do jumping jacks. A little squat. Foot kicks out to the side. Awesome job. Coming up next, we're doing reach across, which is one of my favorite things because it's exactly what we do. We just reach across. You reach across your body and while you're doing that, the opposite foot kicks out the other direction. Lots of cross body today. Lots of opportunity to think about not just your heart rate, but your core. Thinking about pulling your abs in, thinking about having excellent form. When it beeps again, we're going to do punch, punch, kick. Another one of my favorites because we do exactly what it's called. We punch, we punch. So we punch, we punch, and we kick. We punch, we punch, and we kick. And I will tell you, my friends, this is the end of our circuit, which means that when it beeps again, we're coming back to that walking. You might have done lots more walking during this first circuit while you're kind of figuring out what I was doing. Totally, totally okay with that. Ah, ah, it feels good to not think about anything else in my body. And that is the real magic of our energy today. When it beeps again, doing those low swinging tappers. You'll notice when we do a circuit like this, you'll notice just how much energy we kind of built up by the end of the circuit. And now we can very naturally bring it down a little. This is the thing about a workout like this. Here we are with these low swinging tappers. And when it beeps again, we're doing half jacks. A workout like this where we're not resting <laughs> and we really are having some very fast transitions. I know I tell you to kind of even out your effort, keep it you know moderate the entire time. So here we go with half jacks. But the fact is it's totally okay to let your heart rate come up a little, come down a little, to let your body find a natural rhythm for each of these exercises. When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans, a knee and a kick on one side, a knee and a kick on the other. When you when you have a really good, here we go, knee and kick and knee and kick. As you're developing, should I say, a good relationship with your body and noticing how it feels when you exercise. When it beeps again, we're doing upside down jacks. This will be one of the skills that you develop is knowing when you can push a little harder. Here we go with upside down jacks, taking that step out to the side, really transferring your balance all the way over. Really feels very different from other kinds of cardio. When it beeps again, we're doing those butter churns. I'm going to think. Hands are down, foot is out. But when you notice more about your body, as you develop this relationship, here we go with butter churns, with your body, you'll know when you need to slow down, when you can speed up, when you're doing just right. Right now you're learning. Your heart rate might be out of control. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing toy soldiers. And I want you to know that if you finish this workout feeling like, oh my gosh, that might've been too much. I totally get that. Here we go with toy soldiers, opposite hand reaching towards your opposite kicking foot. Remind yourself that this is a skill. Now, if you get done and you're like, oh, that was too easy. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing curtsy jacks. 
which means that you do not have to do a curtsy lunge at all. You're welcome to kick. Instead, I'm going to come down on a curtsy lunge. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Lower body is doing curtsy lunges. If you finish the workout feeling like that was too easy, my friends, you did it perfectly. My <laughs> beeps again. We're doing big arm side shuffles. I will remind you again and again and again that exercise is not how we lose weight. Exercise is for fun, for energy, for big arm side shuffles. Exercise is something we do because we love our bodies. The way we lose weight is by eating the right number of calories every single day. When it beeps again, we're doing shooting stars. It's those that hybrid of star balance and disco dancers where we're leaning to one side, shooting out and tipping over with that other foot kicking out the opposite way. Making sure that you're pulling in your core, thinking about your balance. If you need to keep your foot on the ground, keep your foot on the ground. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting punch step backs. So we're going to punch to the side while stepping back away from it. So again, you're reaching across your body, feeling that stretch, kind of like we felt yesterday, while also moving quickly enough that we're keeping our heart rate at a nice moderate level when it beeps again. I have to figure out where we are. Oh, we're doing dancing X's. <laughs> <laughs> so think about some of these twisting exercises. Here we go with dancing X's. Nice big X with your arms and your legs crunching in the middle when we're twisting. I can't see what exercise is coming up next. <laughs> coming up next though. We've got ding dongs. Your hands are going to be swinging not to overhead, but they will come up pretty high as we kick out to the side, one side and the other side. Kind of like, honestly, when I first made this up, it kind of felt like ringing a bell, like ding dong. <laughs> But it also, of course, always reminds me of those weebles that wobble and they don't fall down when it beeps again. We're doing fruit punch high knees, <laughs> which of course is a front punch high knees going across your body once again, whichever high knee is coming up. The opposite hand is punching forward. We're not worrying about getting a lot of power behind this punch. It's much more about the coordination, the core work and having fun when it beeps again. We're doing booty kicker pull downs. Hands are going to go up overhead, so you might want to go a little bit slower, totally up to you. Lower body is doing booty kickers. Upper body is pulling down with those elbows. A little bit of bonus toning here, you guys, while we're doing cardio. When it beeps again, we're going to do walking stars. And the thing about, the thing about cardio, I know all of us think, oh, it's how you burn calories. So here we go with walking stars, walking forward, walking back, walking forward, walking back. It's not all about the, the calories that we're burning, my friends. It is about moving your body, getting stronger, getting healthier. When it beeps again, we are doing letter K's. Both hands up overhead. We're reaching our hand down out to the side while that same foot is kicking up. On one side, we're making the letter K. On the other side, we're making not the letter K, which maybe could be the full name of that exercise. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing those alley oops. That's the one where we pivot from side Side to side, I'm gonna come down and lunge. If you don't like lunges, don't wanna do lunges, can't figure out lunges, no worries. Pivot from side to side, sweep your hands up and over and call it good. My friends, there is no magic to doing any one of these exercises ever. Coming up next, we're doing middle skips. If you are doing something entirely different, kind of different, more or less the same, here we go with middle skips. As long as you're moving, you are winning. You are winning at life when you can keep moving for this kind of workout. All we're doing is moving our body in different ways. If you are moving your body at all, you're doing perfectly. I want to beep this again. We're doing day breaks. Going to have our hands up overhead, swaying from side to side while we tap from side to side, noticing when our hands go up, our heart rate comes up. You might bring them down a little bit. Totally okay. However you make this workout work, you are making it work, my friend. Coming up next, we're doing forward hinge arm flappers. Your lower body truly is doing a deadlift. You're pushing your hips back. You're pulling your hips forward. Your upper body is doing doing what is essentially a jumping jack. But you know what? I don't miss the jumping at all <laughs> when it beeps again. Going to do that push, push, crunch or whatever kind of a something your body decides to do instead of a push, push, crunch. Whatever feels best and most rhythmic to you. This is the secret of why I don't have music on my videos, my friends. I have no rhythm. <laughs> None. <laughs> when it 
beeps again. We're doing close squat swings. I love to dance, but I look a lot like Elaine Bennis from Seinfeld with the full body dry heave. <laughs> Knees are together, feet are together. We're swinging from one side to the next, making a big upside down V right here in the middle. It's fun for me, but I don't think it's fun for anybody else to watch because I cannot dance to a beat. When it beeps again, we are doing rainbow kicks. Hands are gonna go up overhead. And while we're kicking out one foot, and that's one side and one foot on the other side, this is that section that I warned you about last time. Bunch of overhead, definitely near the end of our workout heart rate has drifted up 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 you take this at whatever pace works best for you coming up next we're doing goofy jacks little bit of a squat not a big squat not a big kick not even big hands if you don't want to you guys I promise that there is never ever going to be somebody who comes knocking at your door and says you know what you weren't doing those exercises quite right we have to take you off to exercise jail now when it beeps again we're doing reach across however you are making this workout work you are making it work we're reaching across and we are looking forward my friend to the very last exercise in our second circuit second and final circuit we're doing punch punch kick to finish things off nope we're not gonna be finished afterwards <laughs> it's funny how easily punch punch and kick how easily that word finish comes out of my mouth but no we're just gonna be done now here's the deal because my heart rate has come up nice and high I'm actually Actually going to give us one interval of walking right after this so that we can cool it down a teeny tiny bit before I ask us to balance during that walking interval I'm gonna start walking now you might grab a chair or you might just move close to a wall totally okay because of course we're gonna do a little bit of balance to finish ourselves off today we're gonna to do super slow tree jacks what that means is your hands are gonna be doing jumping jacks while one foot at a time comes up as high as it can on the other leg Leg. So for me, it's about my knee, more or less. We're actually going to do two intervals of this exercise because it is so slow and I really want to make sure that you've pulled in your core, you're not accidentally going too fast. I know some of us want to because <laughs> balance is easier when we go faster. That was the first beep. The next time it beeps is the last time it's going to beep on today's workout. Oh, we're going to cool it down and we're going to feel amazing. This. This is the part right here during the finisher. Even though it's tough, even though we're still working and pulling in our core and thinking about where our body is, this is the point where I always start to notice as we're cooling it down because we are better than done now. We are finished. Do you notice that you feel really energetic? That you feel really accomplished? That you really feel like, oh my goodness, that was a really, fun sweaty workout and and I have enough energy to get on with the rest of my day you my friends just created energy for yourself while you spent some energy on yourself that magic never gets old for me I love it every single time Let's go ahead and do some arm openers here on screen. My friends, you know I have an extended cool down for us and I do really encourage you to do that on a day like today. Give yourself a big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. After a nice sweaty workout like this, when your heart rate is still kind of high, I absolutely encourage the longer cool down, especially if you've got just a couple more minutes. And honestly, whether you have a couple minutes or not, you might still wanna watch the video that I have for you. Everything that you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond because it has all the information that we talk about every day but it's just so nice to have that reminder in like less than 10 minutes of that's right this is why I'm doing this I'm totally on the right track my friends thank you so much for working out with me today make sure you click that subscribe button before you go and I'll see you tomorrow